Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to create this beautiful line infographic using PowerPoint. So, let's get started. Let's first go to the insert tab and then draw an octagonal shape. Right click and choose format shape and increase its transparency. Next, draw a rectangle shape as shown. Change its fill color to red, align it centrally to the slide and then increase its transparency. Now, rotate this rectangle shape and align it centrally to the corner points as shown. Once it is aligned, duplicate this rectangle shape, align it at the same position and then flip it horizontally. Next, draw a circle shape at the center of the slide. Drag and select all these shapes and then fragment them together. Deselect the required fragmented shape and delete other fragments. Next, let's remove its fill color, duplicate this shape Align it at the same position and then reduce its size from all four sides. Make sure to maintain equal spacing on all four sides. Next, right click on the outer shape and choose edit points. Open the path of any corner point and delete it. Similarly, right click on the inner shape and choose edit points. Open the path of any corner point and then delete it. Now again, select the outer shape and change its end arrow type. Next, drag and select both the shapes and increase the outline width to 3 points. Now, let's group both these shapes and duplicate and align them at the same position. Next, rotate this group by 180 degrees and then align it at the lower section of the slide as shown. Once done, let's group all these shapes, duplicate and align them at the same position, then rotate it by 45 degrees. Duplicate these shapes two more times and rotate to align them in a circular pattern as shown. Now, let's quickly change their outline colors using the eyedropper tool and format the background with black color. Finally, add the text fields and PNG icons and we are done. So here is the final preview of this beautiful infographic. I hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more such tutorials. Stay tuned and see you next time.